Have you ever spent time just staring up at the night sky? Countless stars twinkle above us. But have you ever wondered just how many stars are really out there? On a clear, dark night, you might be able to see up to 6,000 stars in the sky. But that's the total number visible from the entire Earth. From any one spot, a single person can see about 3,000 stars at most. That might sound like a lot, but compared to the actual number of stars in the universe, it's not even a speck of dust. By definition, a star is a celestial body that produces its own light through nuclear fusion. That means the sun, the star we see every day, is one of them. Among all the stars in space, the closest one to our sun is called Proxima Centauri. It's about 4.244 light years away. Even traveling at the speed of light, fast enough to circle the Earth seven and a half times in just one second, it would still take over four years to reach it. That's an almost unimaginable distance. So, let's break it down with a simple comparison. If we scaled the sun down to the size of a soccer ball, the distance to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would be about 6,300 kilometers. That's roughly the distance from South Korea to Australia. So imagine a soccer ball sitting in South Korea and a tiny bouncy ball all the way in northern Australia. That's how far apart stars really are, even the closest ones. In space, the distance between stars is almost unimaginably vast compared to their size. When we shrink things down like this, the true scale of the universe becomes almost impossible to imagine. So today, let's try to grasp the vastness of the cosmos by looking at the number of stars out there. Stars like our sun, shining on their own through fusion, gather together in massive collections called galaxies. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, is estimated to contain around 400 billion stars. Hard to picture that number? Let's put it this way. If you counted one star per second, it would take you about 12,700 years to count them all. Incredible, right? But here's the thing. That's just our galaxy. But the universe doesn't stop at just one galaxy. There are billions upon billions of galaxies beyond our own. In fact, within the observable universe, the part of the cosmos we can currently detect with our technology, scientists estimate there are about 2 trillion galaxies. If each galaxy contains, on average, 100 billion stars, that gives us a total of roughly 2 times 10 to the 23rd stars in the observable universe. That's a 2 followed by 23 zeros. It's a number so huge, it's almost meaningless without context. So let's try to make sense of it, with a few comparisons that might help it feel more real. Let's start with rice. One grain weighs about 0.02 grams, and there are around 50,000 grains in a kilogram. So if we turn the 100 billion stars in one galaxy into grains of rice, how much rice would that be? Those 100 billion grains of rice would weigh around 2,000 tons, about the amount of rice you could load onto 100 large trucks. All that, just to represent the stars in a single galaxy. Now remember, we estimate there are around 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. So if we turned every star in the universe into a grain of rice, we'd be looking at enough rice to fill 200 trillion trucks. Still hard to wrap your head around, isn't it? Now let's try comparing stars to grains of sand. You've probably run your hands through sand at the beach, right? If you spread sand out to a five centimeter depth over one square meter, you'd have about one billion grains in that patch. So, if we represented the 100 billion stars in a galaxy with grains of sand, you'd need to cover about 100 square meters, roughly the floor area of a typical apartment, with sand 5 centimeters deep. That's how many stars are in just one galaxy. Now, if there are about 2 trillion galaxies in the universe, and we turned all the stars into grains of sand, you'd need enough sand to fill the floor space of two trillion apartment units, each covered in a five centimeter layer. 
For perspective, there are about 1 billion apartment units on Earth today. So you'd be covering every apartment on Earth 2,000 times over, just to match the number of stars in the observable universe. Now, let's compare it to something more familiar, people. As of 2025, there are about 8 billion people living on Earth. If we compare that to the number of stars in just one galaxy, that's about 12.5 times the entire human population. So, imagine this. If we divided the stars in a single galaxy equally among everyone on Earth, each person would get around 12 stars. That's like each of us holding a little pack of 12 star-shaped candies. But remember, we're talking about 2 trillion galaxies in the universe. So if we divided all the stars in the observable universe among Earth's population, each person would get 24 trillion stars. Now picture that as 24 trillion star-shaped candies. If you stack those candies into a perfect cube, it would measure about 120 meters on each side, bigger than a soccer field, in every direction. And here's the mind-blowing part. Every single person on Earth could have one of these massive candy cubes. That's how many stars there are in the universe. Let's try one more comparison. Books. Imagine each star is a single book. A large library might hold around 1 million books. Now take the 100 billion stars in a single galaxy. That's like filling 100,000 libraries to capacity. That means just one galaxy contains more books than all the real books that exist on Earth. And just like every book holds a different story, each star may host its own system of planets, with mysteries, histories, and wonders yet to be discovered. The scale of the universe isn't just big, it's beyond what the human mind can truly grasp. But remember, everything we've talked about today is limited to the observable universe. There's a very real chance that beyond what we can see, countless more galaxies and stars exist. Take a look at this image. It shows a tiny patch of sky, just one thousandth the size of the full moon, captured by a powerful space telescope. And yet, even in that minuscule slice of sky, you can see countless tiny dots. The amazing part? Every single dot is a galaxy. And each of those galaxies may contain over 100 billion stars. Will we ever truly understand the vastness of the universe? Maybe not, but the wonder it inspires, that's something we can all feel.